News 46 is brought to you in part by... Are you ready for this? Check this out. Now, there's a movie channel that has the movies you love and so much more. It's really good. This TV. Come to daddy. Big stars. Snap out of it. Big movies. Tradition. Big entertainment. <laughs> On one channel. This TV. To find where this TV is in your area and what great movies are playing, log on to thistv.com. A lot of kids got some good news this morning. Snow day. Uh, yes, it followed uh, Christmas, uh, so it was a big day for all of them. Uh, un- unfortunately, there was enough snow this morning that we felt that in, in the safety of students, it was best that we cancel school for today. It's only happened, uh, this is the second time in the eight years that I've been here mm-hmm. that I can recall we've done this. Well, as you know, there are not a lot of uh, sidewalks in Pahrump, uh, and the straight uh, uh, cleaning uh, for snow, uh, the, you know, the equipment to do that is not readily available in this area. So the, the only place the kids have to walk is in the street uh, mm-hmm. in, in that circumstance. So it's certainly not safe. Uh, this morning about 5.30 I was receiving the calls from uh, our transportation director and others concerning the weather and um, what we needed to do. So uh, I made the decision that we close the schools in Pahrump, uh, Beatty, and Amagosa. Mm-hmm. The schools in Tonopah, Round Mountain, and Gabs, believe it or not, are, are still open today. The, most of the snow is down here. Oh, so there's no snow up there? Uh, I wouldn't say that there's no snow. I'd say they're more used to the snow, and they have the equipment necessary to deal with that, and uh, the conditions are such that the students can go to school. I know that uh, right now the roads, um, are, the roadways are melting a little bit. There's still snow, of course, um, you know, in the various areas all over town, except for the roadways, it seems. What are we going to do for tomorrow? I know that they're looking at possibly some ice on the roadways tonight. Well, we'll, we'll be monitoring the weather today with uh, the uh, the highway patrol and the uh, agencies necessary for ensuring that they've been cleaned. Mm-hmm. So we'll have to make that decision either later tonight or first thing in the morning. But our preference is that the students go to school, but we just want to make sure that it's, it's safe for them to do so. All right. And then you guys will be having those automatic phone calls that you so promptly sent this morning. Um, we, we learned a lot about the, having a response system for um, the families. You know, when we did this several years ago, if you recall when the power line was uh, disrupted uh, by someone shooting a hole in it, uh, yes. we didn't have power for a couple of days. And at that time, there was no system to notify people, and there were no uh, uh, methods to do that. So that's when we incorporated this Connect Ed phone calls. Mm-hmm. And this morning, we sent out 3,328 phone calls in a matter of uh, a minute Mm -hmm. to the individuals throughout the community, letting them know as soon as we were able to, uh, you know, confirm the decision that it would be safe for the students to stay home. Uh, And uh, we've had nothing but positive responses for that. It wasn't at 2 o'clock in the morning. (laughs) It wasn't at 2 o'clock. I think it was around 5.30 we got the phone call this morning, right when the kids were um, just getting up and getting ready, and then they got the word. Yes, yes, that's that's correct. Exactly. So that's a, that's a good thing, and uh, it, it is very efficient. And you're just waiting for that now. We're really depending on those phone calls now. 